So I'm building the um, boxes that go over the wheel wells, and I got one of these pocket hole jigs. And I'll tell you what, I, I was kind of skeptical, wondering how it really works, but this thing is really, really cool. So kind of hard to do it with one handed, but just to give you an idea, this drill bit only goes down. Let's see if it'll zoom in. Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, stupid phone. I've dropped it too many times. But anyways, you can kind of see there with the cord, <clears throat> the very tip is smaller. Um, so you adjust that set screw right there. And then when it goes in, it only goes a certain amount. Okay, then we go over and do the other one. And what this in turn does, I'll show you here, it comes out down here just enough for the screw to come through. Pretty much dead center of the board. So this way I can use these, instead of tacking or putting everything through the outside, I can go through here to give it pull strength. And just like that, I will be able to now granted, this will probably work a lot better with the 2x4s when I go to build a bed frame. That's kind of what I originally got it for to begin with anyway. But you can adjust it for different sizes. And it, it's really, you know, I'm not endorsed or anything by the uh, Craig, I guess, the maker of this. I'm not endorsed or anything, but it's just something I bought to see if it works. It's really a neat tool. You can adjust it for thickness of the board. So, uh, and the angles and stuff you're going to put it at. It takes a little bit of figuring out, read some instructions, you know, and, and then go tackle it. But it, it seems to work pretty good for me. This is how much of it comes out of the bottom and goes through the board at an angle. And uh, <coughs> so this is what you end up with. And then you end up with a seat down there, a ledge that the screw will go down and sit in. So, give me just a second here, let me grab a screw. Sorry to put you in the dark there for a second, let me figure out how to get this. Hmm. Okay, gotta be smarter than the box, I see now. So... Got to be smarter than the box, ouch, than the box in order to open the darn things. There we go. Okay, a, a hinged lid probably would have been easier. But anyways, so then you take your screws, and your screws will go right to the hole. Right there like that, and then they'll go right into the board. I will probably use a shorter screw so I don't screw, you know, all the way through the adjoining board because the adjoining board is only going to be like three quarters of an inch thick. I got these mostly for the two by fours, but you get the adjust of it. They go right down. They sit right there really nice. And then if you, that, then the other nice thing too then is if you want to do a laminate over the top of this or you want a panel over the top of this, you can because you got no expo exposed fasteners and it makes it for a really nice smooth surface to glue to, tack to, screw to, whatever you're going to do to put your top design on or you can carpet to it, whatever you want to do and you won't have anything sticking up. That's really, really nice. Now the package that I got did come with some dowels, I guess, some, you probably can buy these, buy more of these in bulk, which I probably better really expensive, but you simply slide them down in, tap them down in with some glue and then you just sand off the tops of them, but you know, I, that's just another step I don't need to worry about doing today. So anyways, I'm going to get the rest of these drilled and then see if I can assemble my, um, see if I can assemble my first, uh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> see if I can assemble my first wheel well cover box. I'm also going to put some here along the bottom, probably three sets of them, so I can use that to help secure it into the floor um into the subfloor also and just keep it that much more sturdy so all right stay tuned when i get ready to throw this thing in the van i will be back
Thanks for watching. Well, as luck would have it, I uh, screwed up by about half an inch. So, well, three quarters of an inch height. So I'm just going to make an adapter to put on the top all the way around. So I get my height back and then I will cap them off. So, yeah, leave it to me. But, hey, check out how cool they look. That pocket fastener thing or pocket screw thing is just absolutely wild. I love how that thing just put everything together. It sturdies them right up. Definitely a great thing to have. There. So, we've got the basic frame. Got that tip from a friend on one of the Vanning Facebook groups. Can't think of his name right offhand, but I'll figure it out and thank him in the credits. But that worked out really well as a kickoff to go around there and I still ended up notching the bottom just so it would fit better. Um, yeah, use the pocket screws here and then some self-tapper sheet metal, wood to sheet metal screws in the actual beams. And yeah, we got the main frame up and it, it's uh, pocket screwed there, pocket, these are pocket screwed in. Um, gonna go get a, grab a bite to eat and then when I get back I am going to come in here on the inside and run me a 2x4 here and a 2x4 here with cross bracing um, and pocket screws and stuff so I can have three individual um, compartments back here hopefully. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to do that and if so how I'm going to do it. Um, I might, I might not. Uh, it might be something I do later down the road. So um, yeah. So let me get you a different bird's eye view of it here. Come down here. So yeah, my my spot out here in the van's getting smaller and smaller, but I can still use it to get a four by eight sheet if I need to, and that's kind of the the main idea of doing this, like I am. So uh, don't know. I might finish off this here front panel entirely with the same wall boards that I'm going to put up. But there again, like I said, I, I just don't know as of yet. A um, lot going on, a lot to be figured out, a lot to be sorted yet. I uh, still have to figure out how I'm going to trim out them windows with my paneling board because um, I want it to look good. So that's something I'll probably tackle later. I want to try to at least get the main part of the frame built first and kind of square it off and stuff and whatnot that way. So uh, let me go grab a bite to eat and uh, RC and Vanessey and we will be right back. Alrighty, got my cross center beam in. Now I'm going to put some supports up for the center of this and I cut legs. The thing I love the most about that pocket hole jig is I can put these pocket holes in here to make it a nice smooth transition. I can just go through, you know, put the legs in and stuff and then screw them down to the subfloor and I can also screw them up screw them up to the bed frame itself. Um, and there's just just barely enough room in here that I can use my drill and my extended bit and actually get it up there. So anyhow, coming right along. Um, I was going to go get something to eat and I didn't yet. So I'm going to go do that real quick. And then when I get back, I'm going to make my cross beam braces. I might go another 2x4 across this way just to add more strength to the bed frame. Um, but it won't get end up with any down riders or I'm just going to run straight across. I'm probably just going to run... Um, straight across here and here and probably back here and here straight across and that should pretty much do it that should be a really supportive bed frame um, yeah I got quite a bit done today and the reason I'm leaving this open around here still is for right now I'm leaving it leaving it open so I can um, have st extra storage but the more I'm starting to think about it and look at it I'm probably going to just go ahead and close it in um, yeah, less room for stuff to get lost. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, needless to say, uh, stay tuned. Well, it's official. RC and Vanessey here. We officially have a, uh, bed frame. We officially have the rear wheel wells covered over. 
and uh, got my Bose speakers back here. I'm going to try to find a way to put them up top when I'm done. They'll probably sit up here in the corners. Pick them up at a yard sale for five bucks. Them things just kick. Original actual Bose. And they kind of got that 70s vibe, which is cool. So yeah, um, needless to say, she's all in. She's bolted up. She's secure. She is not going anywhere. I will probably put a quarter inch sheet over the top of this and then I'm going to build up some uh, cupboards right here you know just a little bit of storage unit here on both sides and the mattress will fit in the center and uh, the uh, sheet of plywood is going to extend just a little bit in the front there or maybe a little bit back here um, I had to have room for these here so when these here actually close um, this hinge which I'll show you here in just a second here if I can get this to work like I want it to put the pin back in it there we go so I wanted to have enough room that hinge could fully articulate let me get the uh, this on get this out of here okay wanted to have enough room for that hinge to fully articulate and not hit and I ended up getting just so yeah so uh, both sides are done but the nice thing is there's just enough room now I can still bring out that plywood up here a little bit or just move it forward a little bit so I have enough room for the actual mattress. But yeah, so here we are. Uh, RC Rotter and Chevy Vantasy. And we got everything all going like I wanted it to be. Not bad for a day's work if I do say so myself. Get this thing all back together here and got the garage cleaned up and... We will uh, get her all back together. So yeah, now that that's done, now I can start working on these walls. And I'm still trying to figure out how to go around the windows. Um, now that I've done this like I have, kind of gives me some more new ideas of how to trim out the windows with the paneling that I got. And I got enough of the paneling that I can put a little bit on the walls and on around this window here and then I plan on redoing these door panels with that paneling and some of the Naga hide that I'm going to put up here on the ceiling just have to get some more of it when I get the uh, bed itself ordered so yeah thanks for tuning in to RC and Vanity. and uh, yeah without further ado we will see you next time be sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching